Now, again about the Motorola DSR505. This CPU, the NEC CPU, is an MIPS based CPU. Yeah. Don't know if I ever run anything like any distribution of Linux or anything. I doubt I could get it to load on this anyway, because it's probably got the Star Choice firmware. But anyway, this is probably for a hard drive. I never really took this connector off to see what interface uses. This does look like IDE to me. But I could be wrong. This obviously goes to the display, which is right there. Um, yeah, it probably goes to the buttons on the front as well. And that's the expansion card slot. I don't really know what kind of interface that is either. And then this is the power supply made by Light On. There's the memory. Mm -hmm. Underneath this chip is or this you think is a Broadcom chip, and underneath this, that one's the NEC chip, which I'm assuming is the CPU. In fact, it is the CPU. It clocked at 200 megahertz. There's a CR2032 clock battery. Now, there's a door right here on the front, which would normally open up to something that you put in here, and it would connect to something that connects right there. But that feature's not present, because the hard drive feature is present, if that is for a hard drive. Maybe it's for a substrate, it's for some kind of storage, I'm assuming. If I had a compact flash card handy, I'd see if that would work, but since I don't, um, yeah. There's a shielded input for the satellite dish. A couple more shielded ports, which are for the antenna. And in this case, the output and then the other antenna. Yeah. So I guess I should plug it in and see what happens. Because... Yeah, why not? <laughs> I've seen some standard definition units that use IBM power PC CPUs in them, but this one doesn't. It has the NEC, which is kind of different. You would think Motorola would make or would use one of their own CPUs in this, but no. They used one from M N NEC. There's also another set of wires going to the front. I don't know why that would be. So we figured out what this thing here is for. Probably just to reset that then. Oh. Hmm. No, I almost popped pop the cover off. Alright. Uh, I'll put the cover back on and I'll see what happens when I plug it in. Right here it is, hooked up to the TV through the VCR, which is not powered on. So, first we'll power on the VCR. There we go. Is there tape in there? I don't know if I had the timer then. Alright, so. I <laughs> put that door back on. Power it on. Helps what's plugged in. Really. Don't know who the hell Sheriff is, but. Whatever. My leg on this cord so I don't pull it out the back and then just try to... Alright, that's not going to work very well, is it? There's a freaking extension cord. Oh, there's a nice cobweb there, but that's our own extension cord. Find that spider and kill it. Um, this will work. I'll put this down. Uh, 
Да, в книге. Okay, like that. Put the thing into the thing. And then. Alright, but if I can set this up so it's pointed at the device. See so if it does anything neat when you start it up. Stay. Come on, really? Neat. Do it and get it um, turned on. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Is it supposed to be doing something? Or what? Freaking. Still initializing. It's 501 now. Even though it's actually 409. Yeah, that thing you see on the screen in real life, like those lines going down, those are actually there. <laughs> That's not just a refresh rate, I can physically see them. Like, in, on the TV, yeah. Do something. I have all day. Well, let's see. Hmm. This really reminds me of one of those dis megahertz displays in the old computers. Like it would say like 33 and then if you press the turbo button it would say like 100 or something. That's what that reminds me of. Um, yeah, it's not really going to do anything by the looks of it. Probably why it was thrown out. I wonder if this would work as an antenna. Let's see what happens when I do this. Yeah, it's not doing much, is it?
It's not doing anything. Shut it off. Oh, what the? Querying satellite signal. <laughs> Maybe I had it off. On. Um. Have that. What's that do? Nothing. Uh, and what about this? Press enter. Well, what would be enter that? Apparently not. Be enter this. There's no enter or something or what? What the hell is to press enter if there is no enter? God damn it! Oh, what's this? I wonder if my digital TV remote would work. It is made by Motorola. Let's see. Enter's right there. Yeah, it's worn out. <laughs> oh my god. Piece of crap. Shut it off or something. Let's see if I press the. Part of the thing. Piece of junk. This button says guide. I, d I never really knew what that was for on the um, digital TV remote because, you know, what the hell does are you supposed to do with the guide? It's analog. Or not analog. It's kind of like. Yeah, there's no channel listing, but maybe it'll do something. Come on! Piece of crap. Or maybe if I. If I do that. Uh, do that again. Is this remote is working with it? Look. I don't know if I pointed at it, it does. No. I wonder if the infrared detects the Wii remote thing when it's on. No, it doesn't. You piece of crap to throw the remote at it. <laughs> Yeah, it's not doing anything. We shut it off, I guess. Well, bummer. <laughs> Clock's back on. So, do you think I should turn it into, or do you think I should mod this thing to become a computer, or do you think I should just leave it as it is? <laughs> You're gonna need to put a do a case mod where this becomes a computer. Or if I could actually run some sort of operating system off that chip and you know how to override the default thing, let me know. Said we need to get working. Override the default uh, user interface that's loaded from ROM and just throw some else on there to use. That'd be neat. For now. It's completely useless to me. Come on! Stupid freaking. Turn that off. Yeah, let me know what I should do with it.